Hello, my name is Neil Chan and today we're going to be arranging on solo finger style guitar Dexter Gordon's saxophone solo for Blue Bossa. And we're just going to be doing the first chorus. And what I did was I went to record a video and posted it on Instagram of myself playing this um, solo finger style arrangement. And we're going to be listening to the video and following along with this transcription that I did over here. So don't worry if you can't read notation, I want you to just follow along with the notations and this will give you a visual reference to map out this arrangement. So I want you to just ignore the chords first, we'll get to that later, but just follow along the notation. The solo starts here with this red line and it ends here, the first chorus ends here. Okay, so let's go to Instagram. Uh, it's my Instagram, New Chan Music, and I found a video. So let's play it and follow along with the transcription. So I'll pause the video and you can go check it out in my Instagram page. But what we have here, um, we've got the chords in black color. These are the original chords. And the red color one, this is the position at which we're going to be playing the chords for this arrangement. So now I want us to just um, focus on the actual chords and we're going to find out what the tonalities are. So we can see here we've got C minor, F minor 7, um, and then 2, 5, 1 in the key of C minor. So this first part is in the key of C minor. And the third line, we've got 2, 5, 1, or E flat, A flat, D flat, in the key of D flat major. So we've got major tonality as well. And then the last line is just a 2, 5, 1 back in the key of C minor. So we've got major and minor tonalities. And now what we need to do is we need to pick out our musical tools that we're going to use to arrange this solo. So I've got this stack of guides here that I did up. Um, I've got scale positions, chord positions, solfage and harmony guides that you can download for free at my website. So I put the description in the link below. But I'm gonna sh go straight to the solfage harmony guide and we're gonna pick out the solfage syllables that we use to sing our major and minor scales because these are the two um, modes or scales that we have in this piece Blue Bossa. And you can take a look over here, this is what it looks like. Um, so we've got Aeolian or natural minor in C minor. So C minor here, we've got the syllables Do, Re, Me, Fa, Sol, Le, Te and we can sing it out like this. Do, Re, Me, Fa, Sol, Le, Te, Do and for Ionian or minor, uh, sorry, or major, we've got Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti in D flat. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do. So these are our two ingredients that we're going to be using in our arrangement. Okay, and we've got lots more, and let's take it step by step. With the solfege, if we are able to sing out the melody in solfege syllables, we know exactly where in the scale each note is. So I'm going to sing and play it out for you so that you can see how it works. So it starts here with Do, Re, Do, Re, Do, Do, Re, Do, Re, Do, So, Re, Fa, Re, Me, So. And here we've got Re, 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 Do, Le. Um, re, 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 Do. And this is a Le, Le. Re fa me, me do re te, me do re le, fa so re fa re me fa so te re me re do te la so me mi, and it's played like this. Me do re te, me do re le, fa so re fa re me fa so te re me re do te la so fa mi. And here we're changing our tonality to D flat. Re mi fa so la ti do re mi fa so fa mi mi do la fa mi. 
Reti, Reti, Do, La And we're going back to C minor um, Here, this is a Meh Meh, Re, Fa Meh, Re, So, Fa Meh, Fa, Re, Fa, Do, Re, Meh, Fa So, Le, So, Fa, Meh, Ti, Te, Le, So So, if you practice singing your solfege, you'll be able to listen to the melodies and translate it into solfege um, immediately or after some time working on it. So what we're going to do, the first part, we take it step by step. And we're going to find the scale positions that we're going to be using. So here, we've got Do, Re, Do, Re, Do, So, Re, Fa, Re, Me, So. Over here, we're playing in this scale position, C minor. And this is our 5-1 scale position because we're starting on the 5th string using our first finger. So we're going to go to our scale position guide over here and we're going to take out our 5-1 minor scale. This is our first ingredient for scales. And then we've got Do, Re, Do, Re, Do, So, Re, Fa, Re, Me, So. Now we've got a new scale position here. This is a 6-4 minor scale position because we're starting on the 6th string using our 4th finger. So I'm going to take out the 6-4 minor scale over here. So these are our two scales that we have so far. And in C minor, it's... and 6-4. And we use that to play the melody. Do, re, do, re, do, so, re, fa, re, me, so. Now, we've formed our first chord here. C minor 7 chord or C minor chord and we are forming it using the G minor shape so I've written here in red colour G minor and this is the chord position that we're going to be playing this chord in so we're going to go to our chord position guide and take out the movable G minor shape alright so this is G minor shape because it looks like a G minor chord but we've moved it up to C minor. And so this is our first chord shape that we're using. And to, to recap so far, we've got Do, Re, Do, Re, Do, So, Re, Fa, Re, Me, So, C minor 7 using the G minor shape. Re, 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 Re. The next chord, F minor 7. I'm using the C minor shape to play it because this looks like a C minor chord moved up all the way. So we've got C minor shape for our F minor 7 chord. And this is the, the shape that you can find in the guide. <laughs> so just download the guide and all this is available for you. You can refer and take your time to do this. And this is the, we've got here F sharp minor, F minor 7. Re, do, le, re, so, fa. Still on F minor 7. And our D half diminished chord, we're just going to play it in this uh, position. This is our A minor shape, A minor 7 shape. So I'm going to take the A minor 7 shape over here. You can take a look. And this is going here. So we've got A minor 7 shape to play the D minor 7 flat 5 or D half diminished chord. And the melody will be... Um, melody Me, Do, Re, Te, Me, Do, Re, Le And we're going to G So for G, I didn't actually use a shape I'm just going to play the bass note Me, Do, Re, Te, Me, Do, Re, Le And I hit the bass note of G So I didn't write anything here because there's no shape It's just the bass note Le, Fa, So Over here Over C minor 7 You can see there's so many notes here there's no time to play any harmony, so I didn't bother um, arranging um, a chord shape for this part because you've got enough notes to fill up the space. You don't, you don't need to fill in a chord. So this is how this part goes. Fa so re me re fa so re fa re me fa so te re me re do te la so fa mi. You see, there's so many notes, so we don't need a chord shape there. So we're just playing the notes literally as it is written. And here we're going to change our tonality to D flat major. So we're going to shift our thinking and our solfege a little bit to start here. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. And, oh, this one. Okay, so here I'm using the 
a different scale position for the major scale, I'm going to be using 5 1 major scale position for D flat. All right, so 5 1 major scale position. That means we are starting on the fifth string using our first finger. This is our root. And this is what the D flat major scale sounds like. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. And here, we're starting with the re note. Re, and this is how it will go. So, if you see, um, with the solfege syllables, immediately I know how to play it using our scale position. Because if I sing the solfege syllable, I know it is re is scale degree number two, for example. So, re, mi, this is one, two. Re mi fa so la ti do re mi fa so fa mi mi do la fa mi. All the way here, there's no chord here because there's so many notes. So we just leave it empty all the way until we get to our D flat major chord. And then I'll play the full chord here using our A major 7 shape. Because this looks like an A major 7 chord moved up 4 frets. So I'm going to take our, with our chord position guide. A major 7 shape over here. So this is our fourth chord shape so far to play our D flat major 7, D flat major 7. And over here we've got Re ti, um, what is this? Re ti do la, re ti do la. So still in D flat major. And then here we're changing back to C minor tonality playing the D half diminished chord. Again, the same A minor 7 shape. And we've got Mary Fa for G7. Um, Mary So. So here, again, just play the bass note. Uh, we don't need to play any chord positions here. So just play the bass note. Mary So Fa. And for C minor 7, also, I'm just going to play the bass note because look at the amount of notes here. We don't need to fill in any more harmonies. And this is how it's played. Um, so fa, me fa, re, me, do, re, me, fa, so, le, so, fa, me, ti, te, le, so. All using the 5 1 minor scale position. And we're done with all our ingredients. That's all. So. It may seem very complex initially, but if you look at the ingredients that we're using, we've only got three scale positions and we've got four chord shapes. That's it. Two tonalities, minor and major, and we've got our whole arrangement here. So <laughs> if you have to break it down, it's actually pretty simple. Of course, you need to practice this a whole lot, but the concept is there. All right, so this is how the arrangement goes. I'll play it once for you and I'll sort of walk you through it. So initially, we are here. We're playing in our 5-1 minor scale. Do, re, do, re, do, so, re, fa. We're changing to a 6-4 minor scale. Fa, re, me, so. We're playing our C minor chord using the G minor shape. And then we're going re, 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 re. We're playing our F minor 7 chord using a C minor shape. Re, 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 re. Le, re, so, fa, C minor shape of the F minor 7. And then we play D half diminished in the A minor 7 shape and play the melody. Me, do, re, te, me, do, re, le. Just play the bass note of our G. And then here we've got this long run. Fa, so, re, fa, re, me, fa, so, te, re, me, re, do, te, la, so, fa, mi. And we're going to change tonality here. So we're changing to our D flat major shape. This is a 5-1 major scale. And the running, the, the series of notes goes Re mi fa so la ti do re mi fa so fa mi mi do la fa mi. And then we form the D flat major 7 chord here using the A major 7 shape. And we've got Re ti do la. Going back to C minor tonality. Me re fa and playing the G7 chord by just playing the bass. Mary so fa. The final chord, C minor 7, just play the bass. Fa so mes fa. 
Me fa re me do re me fa so le so fa me ti te le so. And that's just all using our five one minor scale. And then we've got the whole arrangement. All right, so let me just play it once through for you without talking, and you can see how it's all structured. One, two, three. There we go. So that's Dexter Gordon's saxophone solo, beautiful solo on fingerstyle guitar. And I hope that's been helpful. And stay tuned for the next part. I'm gonna do this, the next chorus of this solo. And let me know if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Uh, and I'll, I'll try my best to answer every single question that I get. And until next time, I will see you again. Goodbye.